Hello everyone, Vita Day 32 back with another deck here. This one is definitely different than you would expect. Well, maybe not expect with me. You can always expect the unexpected, and I always have, I always find all sorts of interesting decks to review. This is the uh, Palakai. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. It also says the name, I guess, in Russian. And has some Russian on there. 55 point cards. See some code cards. Pretty cool. Pips on the sides. Top, it just says the name. I like it. And in the bottom, some ad copy. It's printed by Piatnik, this version. And it has a number on it. In the back, it's the back design, which is pretty cool. Now, let me talk a little bit about this deck. This deck was originally designed by Pavel Basinov, who lived, uh, I guess, near this place called Halek in Russia. And, um, there's some information. Uh, Palak Miniature is a Russian folk handcraft of a uh, miniature painting, which is done with a tempera paints. Varnished, or, on varnished articles made of paper mache. So, there is some history about Palak there. And apparently the village of Palak is a center of traditional Russian art. The original was created for a world, uh, <laughs> what was it? A world Expo. I, I put World Expo for some reason. The World Expo, no. The World Expo in 1937. Um, That's pretty cool. It was reprinted in 1967 uh, by a company in Russia and again in 1982. And this was reprinted in, uh, in 2007. And it is a good sized deck, nothing on the flaps. Well, I shouldn't say nothing, this one has a number. Very small. <laughs> Probably the same number on the bottom. This one comes with three jokers, they're all the same. This happy fellow. The yellow border, which matches the yellow border on the backs. There are some of the different reprints have like maybe some different colorings to the borders or whatnot. It's a pretty interesting back design. Very nice colors. And then we get to the aces, which have a T in the corner, which... It means ace in Russian. I just don't recall exactly what it means. By the way, the index is super tiny, as you can probably tell. If I hold this back here. Pretty tiny. And it's interesting how it's just black darkness and then you see this kind of bright pip in the center <laughs> surrounded by some foliage and flowers pretty interesting uh, and then we got the queens which have a russian symbol kind of looks like an a uh obviously i i it assume it means girl or woman the jacks have the b which i know means boy i forget what the word is exactly for it i've seen it though i i Talk about that in my some of my reviews for the Lithuanian playing cards, which will probably be up before this one, but definitely check those out. Very nice, colorful artwork. And the kings have a K, which does not mean king, it means something in Russian again, but I don't remember what, but it basically means king. Somebody's probably going to post in the comments, so check that out. I should have looked that up, but I just plain forgot. Plus, I don't know how to look up the Russian symbol on the Queens. Look at that guy's beard. <laughs> you don't see impressive beards like that on court cards very often. <laughs> the number cards, it almost kind of looks like there's a metallic golding to it as well. Uh, the index is within this pip, which is kind of interesting. There's the two. It's a lot of black. And, uh... Yeah, very interesting. Again, it's really hard to see the indexes because they're so small and then they're compressed within there. But overall, pretty nice artwork. It is a smooth plastic coated finish. Um, I got this for a pretty reasonable price on eBay. You can find them from different sellers. Make sure the one you, you look for if you're interested in this version is the Piatnik printed one. It's going to be better quality and most recent one. 
It's not fanning so well right now, but I did have it fanning yesterday. But it doesn't matter. I didn't buy it for Carter Stewart fanning anyway. It's just an art piece, a collection piece. I've actually known about this for a few years. I've seen it around on discussion forums. And I thought about getting it. I almost did. But I was kind of turned off, I guess, by the little pips. But I finally decided to do it. And I don't regret it. Very nice artwork. I'm going to... I'll give it an A. Or maybe an A- minus because of the index. Very nice though. Very interesting and unique. And that is that. A little piece of history. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.